you know how many elements are known to us at present? Let me tell you, there are 118 elements present now. Back then, during 17th century, only 30 elements were known and it was easy to remember those elements and their chemical properties. But with the discovery of new elements, scientists faced problems in arranging them. So, classification of these elements was done to make their study easier. Scientists made several attempts to classify the elements based on their behavior, that is, their physical and chemical properties. First such attempt was made by Joan Wolfgang Dobrenier, a German chemist in 1817. He managed to arrange elements with similar properties into a group of three and called them triads. He showed that when these three elements were arranged in an increasing order of their atomic masses, the atomic mass of the middle element was the average of the atomic masses of the other two elements. For example, in a triad with lithium, sodium and potassium, the average of atomic masses of lithium and potassium was close to the atomic mass of sodium. However, the drawback was that Dobrenier was able to identify only three triads from all the elements that were known at that time. Thus, this system of classification wasn't successful and useful. Then in the year 1866, John Newlands, an English scientist, proposed another method of classification when only 56 elements were known. Newlands arranged the elements in the order of their atomic masses, serially beginning with hydrogen having atomic number 1 and ended with thorium. He found out that every eighth element had properties similar to that of the first element. That is, the properties of lithium were similar to that of sodium. Since every eighth element was found to resemble, this law was called as the Newland's Law of Octaves. Can you think of anything else that follows the octave pattern? Yes, the musical notes. However, the law of octaves also had some limitations. Like, it was found that law of octaves was applicable only up to calcium because after calcium, every eighth element did not show the properties similar to the first one. He assumed that there were only 56 elements and did not predict the discovery of new elements. Later, several new elements were discovered which did not follow the law of octaves. In order to fit elements into his table, Newland adjusted two elements in the same slot but also put some unlike elements under the same slot such as cobalt and nickel are in the same slot and these are placed in the same column as fluorine, chlorine and bromine which have very different properties than these elements and iron which resembles cobalt and nickel in properties had been placed far away from cobalt and nickel. Newland's law of octaves worked well only with the lighter elements. Let us now recap what we have learnt. It is important to classify the elements to make their study easier. Dobrenier proposed the triad system. Newland proposed the law of octaves. This is the end of this module. See you again in another module.